Hello, I'm Eric Vess, an elder here at Rivermont EPC. Pastor Brett has asked me to share with you today on today's Advent devotional. In his gospel, Luke doesn't begin with the birth of Jesus, but rather with the birth of John the Baptist. So we are introduced to Zechariah and Elizabeth, senior citizens, faithful believers, and childless. They have prayed for years for a child and for the redemption of their nation, Israel. While performing the sacrifices of a temple priest in Jerusalem, the angel Gabriel appears to Zechariah and proclaims that God has heard their prayers. Elizabeth will deliver a child, and Zechariah will name him John, and that's not a family name. So Zechariah is afraid, and he's incredulous. How could this be, he thinks? But Gabriel assures him that God will be faithful to his promise. But he chides Zechariah for his lack of faith by causing him to be mute until the baby is named. And so John the Baptist is born to an elderly couple. So why does Luke begin his story, his gospel, with this story? Well, I think for at least three reasons. First, the arrival of any king is proclaimed by a herald, one who comes before the sovereign to prepare the people for the king's appearing. Second, the prophet Malachi, some 400 years earlier, had prophesied that an Elijah would come before the Messiah to announce his arrival, and John fulfills the role of Elijah. Third, John is the last of the Old Testament prophets and provides the link between all those messianic prophecies and the coming of Messiah Jesus. So what can we take away from this story as we prepare our hearts for the celebration of Jesus' first advent. First, God brings life out of death by bringing forth life from Elizabeth's all but dead body. God is revealing himself as our sovereign redeemer. God redeemed Zechariah and Elizabeth's barrenness and redeemed their hope for their nation in one breathtaking demonstration of divine power and grace. Second, like John, God calls all of us to herald his advents. Jesus has come. Jesus will come again. We are his witnesses to a dark, distressed, and dangerous world that yearns for relief and rescue. Only Jesus, the true Redeemer, can fulfill those universal yearnings. So I leave you with Gabriel's prophetic words to Zechariah regarding John the Baptist in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 15 through 17. He, that is John the Baptist, will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready for the Lord a people prepared. May God grant us the grace to be a people prepared for the coming of the Lord. Amen. God bless you.